Hard flooring, either laminate or solid wood, is the perfect choice if you want a durable, attractive surface that will keep its good looks for years to come. We're going to take you through the process of laying a floor step by step. To make it easier, we split this up into five films. Part one is the subfloor preparation, measuring up. Part two talks you through the types of underlay and how to install them. Part three is the actual fitting of your laminate flooring. Part four is the fitting of your solid wood flooring. And part five is the finishing touches and maintenance section. For both kinds of floor, there needs to be a little bit of preparation work first. The floor we're going to be laying onto is known as the subfloor. You need this to be smooth, dry, level and swept clean. Any carpet that's in the room needs to be removed as well, along with the underlay, as we're going to be using a different kind of underlay for the wood and the laminate. Any gripper rods around the outside need removing, and we always check the floor for moisture. Top tip, you can do this by sticking a square metre piece of polythene directly onto the concrete floor, making sure that it is well sealed on all four sides and leaving it overnight. If the concrete underneath is discoloured or there is condensation on the underside of the polythene, this means you will have a moisture problem and you should seek advice from a damp proofing expert. If you're laying on top of floorboards, make sure these are firmly screwed down. Any nail heads will need flattening out with a hammer and if there's any gaps, these need to be filled. The easiest way to do this is using mastic, which is a flexible filler. Any uneven floors will also need flattening out with hardboard sheets or plywood. Once you have prepared your subfloor, you need to measure up the room before heading out to get your flooring and underlay. To measure up, measure the length and width of the room in metres and multiply the numbers together to get the area of the room in square metres. If you have an irregularly shaped room, divide it up into separate rectangular areas and calculate them individually, then just add them together. You'll then need to work out how many packs of flooring you need to cover the area. Most packs will tell you how many square metres they contain, and you simply divide the size of your room by the size of the pack. This gives you the number of packs you'll need to buy. Always budget for around 10% extra to allow for any unusable offcuts. Any unopened packs can be returned to the store. And if you're using a flooring trim, don't forget to measure the perimeter of your room and add an extra 10% here too. Check out our next film in the series, 